barking. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. All right, so it is springtime and that means it is time to move Brinsel back outside. She has been in the garage all winter long and she's ready to get back outside and have more space and more fresh air. So today is day one of moving Brinsel outside. So today I'm gonna to be cleaning and organizing the shed because that's where I organize all of her stuff, like her food and just all that sorts of stuff and it is a mess right now so we're gonna go ahead and deep clean the shed and get everything all organized and then we're going to clean her hutch and then tomorrow we will be actually moving her outside so the first thing we ought to do is go clean the shed so let's go Alright, so first on the side here I have her fan, which I use in the summer. I have her old ramp to her old hutch, which I may or may not use it in the future, I don't know, but we've just kind of kept it. I have this old cage, which I don't really use anymore. We've only used it like when we were moving to transport her. So I've got pine litter right here. I have paper bedding right there. I've got Timothy hay right here. We have a ton of hay. I have this random bucket there because I use it. But I've got Timothy hay in there. I've got orchard grass hay down there. And then I've got mixed grass hay there. And then this is just a little like hideout thing that I may or may not use. Um, and then down here we've got this box which has like extra stuff like extra feeders and um, like extra pellets and things like that and then in this box I've got her toys and then up here I have the shelves so back here I have this little sign which you've probably seen in last summer's videos I think it's really cute it just says Brinsel my baby over here I have pellets and then in here I've got treats I need to get more treats but um that's pretty much what we've got right now and then in this little drawer I actually have some herbs here I've got just some like stuff drying with paper towel on the bottom and then up here I've got that stuff, just some vinegar and water and then some water in the back. This is some cleaning supplies and this is all her accessories and then the grooming stuff. And then over here is just a little whiteboard and a trash bag. Okay, so this is actually day three of moving Brunsell outside because it ended up taking a lot longer than I expected. So yesterday we did move her outside and unfortunately, George. So yesterday we did move Brunsell outside, um, but unfortunately my phone had hardly any storage space available. So I wasn't really able to film like anything. Um, I think I was able to video like her like hopping into the hutch when I put her in there but that was about it, so I'm sorry about that. But today I was able to get some more storage space on my phone, so I did video setting up the pen, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, we wasn't, weren't able to do it yesterday, and the pen turned out so huge because I actually have two X pens now, plus the little enclosed area under here, so it is huge. Um, we are still trying to figure out what we're gonna do to cover it. But for now, we're just going to let her out to play, and I'm super duper excited. So let's see her reaction, because I think she's so excited. A minute ago, she was biting the cage bars because she wanted to come out so bad. So let's let her out.
Okay, I know there are going to be some people who are wondering why Brensel is moving back outside and why she doesn't live inside. And I'm just going to give you a short answer and it's because my parents don't want her living inside. I just give her the best life I can and she is very happy and perfectly healthy. you guys found this vlog somewhat interesting. I hope to do a hutch tour very soon so you guys can kind of see in more detail all the stuff I've done. But until then, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss that video. Turn on your notification bell to get notified when we do post. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye!